All right, so some big news now with Audius and Spotify starting to play into what could be the future of music NFTs and a lot more. We're going to dive into all that good stuff. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back into TechPath. I want to jump into this one today because there's a lot of things that are happening uh, within this particular development. One, of course, Spotify to test NFTs in their latest music playlist pilot. A couple of things here. They've invited select, uh, select NFT communities to create these token-enabled playlists which I think is going to be interesting. And we've talked about this a little bit before, but you've got Moonbirds, Fluff, Overlord, and Kingship token holders that will be able to access that. Now, there's more to it than just that. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, and I'm kind of curious from a, a sense of whether or not you guys are involved in these kinds of music platforms, whether it's Gala or Audius or others, what's your perception of holding these NFTs? Love to get your feedback. Drop some comments down below. Here's an example of how this token-enabled playlist pilot will work. So it kind of shows the whole wallet connection playing on the icon. They show the kingship uh, playlist. I'll show that to you in a second. Uh, and then it, the tie through all the way into wallet. Uh, and boom, you've got uh, essentially Spotify working with Audius to really roll this out. So great, big, big news, I think, in affecting this. Here was Overlord's tweet right here. We've been selected as one of Spotify's partner in a new pilot. Uh, exclusive pilot of their token-enabled playlist, launching with holder-curated playlists. You can kind of see and learn a little bit about that. Uh, if you don't know, here's Overlord's site, a little bit about what they're doing. Now, the thing that's interesting here is, notice they've got Web3 Gaming and Media Universe building uh, immersive game stories, worlds, etc. They've got actual physical products involved. TV and films, fashions involved, and then of course gaming. So what does this tell me is that this could potentially play into an array of NFT solutions that could play out within the Spotify ecosystem. Here is Creeps, just to give an example of the bump that Creeps, which is back to Overlords, uh, took right here was February 20th, 1.79, and all the way up now to as high as 2.4. And you can kind of see just some of the growth that the auto, or excuse me, that the Spotify bump starts to develop. So big news there. Here's Kingship's Twitter uh, Twitter account, um, and they kind of explain this a little bit. Now we're taking a commitment step further, launching the brand new token enabled uh, playlist in Spotify. Yeah, uh, it's a curated playlist exclusively for that. You need the key card, which is an NFT holder. That's how you get to the playlist. And that's pretty unique. Here's the actual Spotify playlist. Now, obviously, I'm not a key card holder, but this would take me into the uh, use case uh, for that. So interesting stuff there. Uh, here is a little bit from the Kingship website. Kind of uh, cool. You can just drop right to the Spotify playlist, the token enabled side right there. This could really change a lot within how music and discovery is done, NFT integration, and all of this playing out into tokenizing the whole music, music platforms uh, in the markets for sure. Uh, OpenSea, you see a little bit here again, just on uh, the movement that we're seeing already uh, around some of these uh, some of these resources. These are the Kingship NFTs themselves. A lot of activity right now starting to come in, and obviously the bump right here up to 0.15 ETH. So Spotify's got a real bump here. Spotify testing Web3 wallet integration and kind of as we ex explained a little earlier, earlier, Overlord, Fluff, and Moonbird uh, playing into that. I'm glad to see Kevin Rose part of this. Other participants in a three-month pilot, um, we're probably going to see more, I think, too. But you'll be able to unlock the track list, including hits by Queen, Missy Elliott, Snoop Dogg, Zeppelin. Uh, pretty cool stuff, actually. I think this also could open up some really unique ways of independent artists to look at tokenization strategies as well. Here was Audius's announcement. And of course, we'll talk about the charts here in a minute. Stick around because um, Audius as a token has also responded to this uh, fundamental news. But announcing uh, two new great TikTok related features on Audius uh, live today. Uh, lots happening there. And then, of course, if you look further into it, they talk about uh, sharing to TikTok. You have a track on Audius. Your TikTok followers just have to hear. Uh, One-click export, great video, visualizer, all that. Just kind of show you this video that's playing right here. Let me kind of pop that out for you guys so you can kind of see a little bit about how this might work within TikTok. Now, this, this has a lot of potential for not only 
audience, but I think also for social media uh, integration of NFTs. And we've been talking about this for a long time, but I think now reality is becoming a thing. Further into what they talk about uh, right here, complete with TikTok, one-click sign-up. This is another big feature, which I think is going to be the killer application for Web 2 to Web 3. And that is being able to integrate now, complete the sign-up literally with your Audius account via TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. So very, very uh, Web 2 to Web 3 process. You've heard me say that many times. The companies that hit it with that kind of scenario are the ones that win. Uh, here's some analytics just on the last, that's on the month. Yeah, let's go, yeah, this is the month. But you can kind of see here a little bit on uh, almost 7.8 million calls in on the API. And now we're at 8.6 million. And it was as high as 12.1 million. And this is all yet to have TikTok API calls on it. TikToks will blow this up like crazy. So we'll see uh, just a, rig a ridiculous amount, I think, of unique users, growth, etc., playing into that. Don't forget that there we had the the another block guys on to talk about this whole idea of streamable uh, royalties. This is a good example of actually, you know, this is coming from Rihanna's song, but streaming royalties right into uh, the actual NFT. And the cool thing here is notice the the Spotify song popularity uh, growth that we're starting to see here. So again, more great potential here for the music business. And I think this is going to be interesting because of the analysis between traditional music uh, producers and rights holders to what we might see come in the future of new artists and developers, especially in the space that of Web3. So definitely a lot happening in this space. Speaking of music, uh, and you're talking about Web3 music, the only place to shop and start is Gala Music. Make sure and check out what they've got. If you go to their beta platform, just go beta music uh, gala.com you'll find this and you can log in and become uh, a new web3 uh, music connoisseur so great opportunity to actually explore their platform they do a great job with this i think gala is again one of those web3 uh, pioneers in terms of entertainment so make sure and check them out we'll leave some links down below to learn a little bit more about gala music all right here was uh, it, it doesn't stop here with just what's happening with spotify but i think this starts to push a lot of other social platforms and content creation and consumption platforms to the next level. This is, of course, uh, YouTube's new CEO, Neil Moen, who is basically very optimistic about NFTs. We've tweeted about this, but he, he has a good tweet here, I think, or a good uh, quote here. Uh, we believe new techs like blockchain and NFTs can allow creators to build deeper relationships, which I think is the killer app. It's going to be the way it goes. Together, they'll be able to collab, do new projects, make money in ways not previously possible. This to me opens up the absolute amazing capability of what Web3 truly uncovers, and that is an unlimited creative opportunity around especially these kinds of platforms when it comes to content. Further into this is Twitter. They're kind of like the last man standing that has not been able to integrate yet. Uh, I think hopefully Elon is over there working on something that really gets true integrations into NFTs. This was something, remember, that you could still go back and use NFTs as, as your icon, but this is a very old, in fact, they were the first to integrate NFT usage in a social media platform, but it hasn't moved since then. So love to see Twitter kind of take it to the next level. Uh, whether or not they do, just don't know. Here's Conflex knocking out a pretty interesting aspect here with more than 200 million monthly active users. Little Red Book, uh, which is uh, China's answer uh, to Instagram, has integrated Conflux as a permissionless blockchain. This is significant because with this, back to what we've seen in China, also starting to uh, do some things around possibly paving the way for crypto, possibly come to come back in vogue within China at a very interesting time. I have a whole theory on that. We'll probably should do a, a China video on how blockchain may actually be exploding in the East versus what we've seen here. So. Lots of stuff happening out there when it comes to music and creativity around the NFT market. You guys, of course, let me jump over to the Audius chart just to give you an example. This Audius is one of our tokens that not only is in the CPI, but was in our original um, trade uh, portfolio that we did with you guys. 
If you were able to get in on that back in early January, just to give you an example of where you would be now, if you were looking at that, and of course the pump right now, almost 200% in gains. Uh, and if you did catch this on this little bit of a dip, if you look at uh, our CPI data, this was actually indicated uh, over the past couple of days. So we've seen a little bit of movement on Audius, but nice move for you guys that are making a trade. Would I trade out of this right now? Probably. I did buy Audius on uh, the news today. Uh, while it was on that little bit of a four-hour green or red candle right there and was able to get in nice at around 32. Did a quick trade on that. But those are those typical swing trades that are just almost immediate and instantaneous. Maybe you've been holding it a little bit longer. Is this your time? It's possible Audius could break past because we're still seeing upline uh, sentiment on Audius. Uh, and it is very strong, but look at this candle. It's, it's still holding out pretty well. So we could see 40 cents coming in pretty quickly. Uh, if you look at Conflux, I mean, look at this crazy move right here. Again, Conflux, because of their integration into China, setting at 400% growth just in a very, very short period of time, 10 days. So that in itself only shows me one thing, and that is that this creative kind of um, MO is not going to slow down. We're going to see more and more integration into the major platforms on a global level and Watch for the blockchains that are starting to integrate into this. Remember Avalanche just did a deal with Tencent. Likelihood there's some interesting integrations there. We'll most likely see a lot more from Audius. And I'm still waiting for the chain that truly uh, unlocks Twitter in a big way for NFTs. That I think is still yet to come. All right, guys, we're going to get out of this one. Uh, make sure and join in on the Diamond Circle. It's very easy. Just click the link below. Uh, it gets you into our Substack. It also gets you in through our website. So it's very simple to do. If you guys want to reach me, it is out there on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.